The V8 engine, an enduring symbol of power, performance, and automotive heritage. In the world of high-performance cars, particularly American muscle cars, superchargers and V8s have formed an iconic partnership. But have you ever wondered why superchargers have become synonymous with V8 engines, while smaller engines rely on turbocharging? First, let's talk about why V8 engines and superchargers go together like peanut butter and jelly. It all comes down to what V8s are known for, instant power delivery. V8 engines are the heart and soul of muscle cars, designed to deliver low-end torque and explosive throttle response. And this is where superchargers shine. Unlike a turbocharger, which needs exhaust gases to spool up, a supercharger is driven directly by the crankshaft. The result? Instant boost. No lag, no waiting. Just raw, brutal power whenever you hit the gas. V8s are big. With larger displacement and naturally higher torque, they don't just produce power, they dominate with it. Superchargers amplify this by providing a smooth, consistent boost across the rev range. It's not just about adding power, it's about making that power delivery buttery smooth and predictable. Basically, you know exactly what you're getting when you stomp on the pedal. Another reason superchargers are favored on V8s is space. V8s are usually found in vehicles with plenty of room under the hood. That makes it easier to fit a big supercharger along with its supporting components, like intercoolers. Plus, superchargers are simpler to integrate. They don't need the complex exhaust work that turbochargers require. For cars like the Dodge Challenger Hellcat, this simplicity is part of what makes them so bulletproof on the drag strip. Let's not forget tradition. In America, superchargers are practically an icon of the muscle car era. That whine of the supercharger paired with the growl of a V8. It's music to a gearhead's ears. It's part of the identity of cars like the Hellcat and the Shelby GT500. But wait, if superchargers complement V8s that well, why do European automakers like Mercedes and BMW use turbos on their V8 engines instead? While American V8s thrive on superchargers, their European counterparts have embraced turbocharging, and that's for several reasons. First, turbocharging aligns with stricter emissions and fuel efficiency regulations often seen in Europe. By using exhaust gases to create boost, turbochargers reduce fuel consumption without sacrificing performance. This makes them more suitable for global markets with higher fuel costs and emission standards. In addition, the engineering philosophy is different. European manufacturers prioritize smooth, refined power delivery, which twin turbo systems excel at. These setups can provide a broad, seamless power band, perfectly suited to the luxury performance ethos of brands like Mercedes AMG and BMW M Series cars. Now let's talk turbos. While V8s and superchargers dominate the muscle car world, smaller engines, like inline six and V6 configurations, and four cylinder power plants, have embraced turbocharging. But why is that? Let's break it down. Turbochargers are more efficient than superchargers because they use exhaust gases to create boost, rather than drawing power directly from the engine. This is crucial for smaller engines like inline sixes and four cylinders, which don't have the displacement or torque of a V8. Turbocharging allows them to deliver impressive power while maintaining good fuel economy. For example, a two liter turbo four can easily hit 300 horsepower without sacrificing efficiency. Turbochargers fit better in tight engine bays, especially in smaller cars with limited space. Unlike superchargers, which need belt-driven connections, turbos integrate seamlessly into the exhaust system, making them ideal for modern compact engine designs like inline sixes and four cylinders. Turbos provide the ability to tailor boost at specific points in the rev range, offering both low-end torque and high-end power. Twin turbo setups, often found in six-cylinder engines like the Nissan GTR or BMW M340i, maximize this flexibility, ensuring smooth, responsive performance across the entire RPM range. For four cylinders, turbos are the go-to because they're more affordable to produce and integrate into mass-market vehicles. They balance power and efficiency, making them perfect for compact cars and crossovers where affordability and fuel economy are priorities. Of course, there are exceptions to every trend. There are supercharged four-cylinder engines like those found in the second-gen Toyota MR2 or the Chevrolet Cobalt SS. These decisions often come down to balancing tradition, engineering goals, and the driving experience manufacturers want to deliver. So what do you think? 
Is the supercharger still the ultimate choice for a V8 engine? Or do you prefer turbochargers instead? And where do you stand on the age-old debate between raw instant power and refined efficient performance? Share your thoughts in the comments.